Joining us now to review headlines of today's newspaper from around the world is a Rise News analyst, Emmanuel Efeni, Great Malabite. Good morning. Good, Good morning, Rufai. Good morning, Ayo. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so we'll start the review with these day Nigeria's newspaper of record. We'll start with the lead story. Tinubu, I am not satisfied with Nigeria's security situation. Vows not to relent until insecurity is over. Says security remains his government's top priority. Grieves over Kaduna bombings again. Well, President Bola met Tinubu. Well, the primary duty of government is the security of lives and property. And we must say that the security situation has not improved since May 29, when the president was sworn in, despite the attempt by the national security advisor not too long ago to pull what looks like a wool over the eyes of Nigerians by declaring that security situation has improved tremendously. But Nigerians who feel it know that there's serious insecurity across the country, people being kidnapped at will, and there's that air of insecurity, even people thinking twice before they make any journey by road these days. But people must travel, people must make uh, trips to earn their living. And the situation is still dire. Of course, the president was making that statement at the palace of the show of Bornu yesterday. Yes, so the president is not satisfied. We need to see more action that will change the tide for good. Now, the story above the lead. Plot to impeach Fubara takes new turn as reverse lawmakers defect to APC. Governor summons emergency ESCO meeting over development. PDPLP. Others want INEC to declare defector seats vacant. Ijo National Congress urges Tinubu to call Wiki to order. APC chair welcomes defectors to party. Yes, has been the news since yesterday. Uh, midday yesterday, when uh, these lawmakers uh, sang that um, now famous song, <laughs> even though they were uh, they were they were in the assembly on the mandate of the PDP, they were singing very loudly on whose mandate they stand that of President Bola Metinibu. Well, I think the law has to take its course and with PDP already vying to challenge, uh, to ensure that these lawyers, uh, these lawmakers rather, lose their seats, uh, then perhaps the constitution will, want, will need to test that once again. Because uh, I just read the sub section 109 subsection 1G. It seems to be very clear. Uh, but again, Rufa, you ask the question, what happened to Senator Ifan Yuba when he defected? Why people? Perhaps you want to say perhaps the party lacked the spine uh, because at the time it was as if that party was if I Uba and <laughs> and Uba was the party. So I wouldn't want to cite that as a case. You ask who wants to challenge uh, but, uh, if I Uba in that party, but it's a test case for the PDP losing 27 legislators in one fell swoop. I'm sure <laughs> if the part if the PDP has been slumbering all this while on the wiki issue. I think this is the time for them to wake up, smell the coffee, and take action. Well, we'll continue to monitor the situation. But above the masthead of the Punch newspaper, yeah, we're at the Punch newspaper now. Yes, Punch newspaper. Labor fumes as federal government stops 35,000 award payments. Yeah, that award to cushion the effect of the uh, fuel price, uh, no, the subsidy remover that led to the f increase of petroleum products, as it were. The federal government has stopped it, and labor is fuming. Well, it's not supposed to be a forever award, but whether now is the time, <laughs> whether things have improved, of course, let's see what other newspapers are reporting. The Guardian newspaper, 
Yuletide. Nigerians grown as basic needs exceed real income. 90% plus Nigerians cannot afford a healthy diet. That is the dire situation right now in the country. Nigerians spend 61.08 trillion on food, other household item services between January and June 2023. Now, the infographics there on the front page of uh, the Guardian newspaper. But it's not as if it's something that affects only the poor. The Business Day newspaper is reporting. Business Day newspaper, yes, Nigerian elites face hard times as inflation hits all. Well, the rich also cry. Remember that movie, we Refi? Yes. yes. <laughs> so inflation is not only for tomatoes and pepper. Of course, every household buys tomatoes and pepper. But even those goods that uh, you think the poor don't bother about, it's only for the rich and the elites, they are also going up every day. Mm. And when you go to the supermarket and you are giving your bill, you wonder whether it's the same items you picked in your basket that they are talking about. In fact, many people, when they get home, they study their receipts these days. Oh, yes. <laughs> and they see uh, clearly the rate of inflation. An item you, you buy for 5,000 may just go up to 75 in a couple of weeks' time, if not less. Now, the Daily Sun newspaper, Tundubiri, victims of bombings, Error will get justice. Sultan reps caucus pledges 450,000 naira infrastructure in community. What will be justice to those who are dead? What will be justice to those who are sustained life changing injuries? Well, they should be compensated. The families of those who are gone should be compensated, and the community should be compensated. If this is what will make that community be developed, I think then, so be it. But you cannot bring back those lives that are already lost. So one way or the other, compensation should be given to everybody. Those who are dead, their families will get compensation. Those who are alive who sustain injury should get compensation. And that community should get compensation by way of accelerated development. Now, the Vanguard newspaper, banks ration cash as Naira scarcity worsens. POS operators high transaction fees. CBN suspend charges on large cash deposit. The CBN is here to put a finger on the problem. Scarcity of cash has, is returning big time. New Telegraph newspaper, health sector crisis. Nigeria to lose 500 consultants to retirement brain drain, MDCN. Says so sector lost close to 1,000 consultants in the last five years. Mm -hmm. Once of bleak fissure as staff strength halved. Hospital units closing, quality of patient's care reducing. That is the state of the nation, especially as it relates to health care. I hope the health minister and the minister of state for health. In this government, we have <laughs> at least three other medical doctors apart from the ministers in charge of health. So if there's one area this government has the resources, human resources to deal with health, there in the cabinet of Pre Mr. President, President Bola Metinibu, now the Daily Trust newspaper, perhaps the cherry one, Nigeria sweeps CAF award. Osime yes. breaks 24-year jinx, emerges African footballer of the year. Well deserved. Well deserved. All the others that were on that list were just pretenders to the crown. Osime, yeah. the guy, and he has picked that. Yeah. But, Rufai, he has to go and deliver the Nations Cup. Yes, he has to win the Nations yes, Cup. Because, the because, because him. Aziza Oshuala yeah. won the Women Footballer of the Year. Yeah. The Super Falcons. The best team on the continent. Yes. So, although Aziza uh, Oshuala, her performance at Barcelona and the Fa Super Falcons seem to be way apart. But anyway, she's playing football and the women, they are making us happy. Women are, <laughs> they've always been making us happy in football. No, anything mm. short of playing the finals by the Super Eagles will not be accepted. And you know I why Osimhen needs to win the Nations Cup? Yeah. 
Rashidi Akili was given Africa Football of the Year in 1993. I think, if my memory serves I think probably he had just gone to Setu Balde in, in Portugal. 1994, it was part of the team that won the Africa Cup of Nations in Tunisia 94. Yes. So, and they was, went on to the World Cup. And they went on to the World Cup. To do great things, yes. They were, they were ranked fifth. Nigeria football team in the World Cup 1994, USA 94, was voted the most entertaining football team. Correct. And they were number five on the FIFA ranking as at then. Now that Usime has won this, just a prelude and look at it, spot it, 2023. Going to 2024. 24. So will it be exactly. 20 or 30 years after. Rufai, but we must also caution. 30 years after. Football is a team game. They shouldn't put all the load on Osimhen's oh, head. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Osimhen, is, is, is the one. They should put together a proper team. A proper team. Exactly. And okay. Cicero must lead the way as regards that he's going to take us. He must not disgrace us. But I am just trying to align the numbers. 1993. <laughs> I love it. 1994. 2023. 2024. 2024. May I just nick we it? May I just be the do. year? And it's in Cote d'Ivoire. Just one foreign newspaper before we go. The yeah. Guardian newspaper. Climate draft condemned as weak and insufficient. Of course, the draft deal of uh, the anti-global fossil fuel production is okay. grossly insufficient, inadequate, experts are saying. Yeah. Politics has started again with climate change, the political of the world. Thank you so much, Mr. Fendi, for your time.